How's it going everybody? My name is Absalom and welcome to my channel. Today is how to get the free thunder gun on Tag Your Toten. So you're going to need to build the shield, acquire the zipline handle, as well as repair at least one of the flingers. However, I would do both. While you're doing these, you need to be doing the challenge podiums around the map. Starting with the lighthouse station one, the first challenge you have to do is get headshots and then collect the brains that drop. This is pretty straightforward, but I find it easy inside the lighthouse since the ground is flat. And in case you're wondering, the hellhounds do count towards your headshot kills. Once you have all your headshots and collected all the brains, make your way back to the challenge podium at the lighthouse station and collect your reward to move on to the next challenge. This challenge is to get the melee kills with the shield, and this is why I say to do this challenge first, because you will spend a lot less money repairing your shield on a lower round since these zombies are easier to kill. Once you get all your shield melee kills, again collect your reward, and then now you are on to the final challenge. At this point, I would get it down to one zombie, and then you need to make your way to the top of the lighthouse. The hermit wants you to empty his pee jars into the beach water. You'll have to do this a total of three times, and there is a catch to this. You are only able to walk, and you cannot take fall damage if you don't want to break the jars. However, you can use your special weapon to get down the hill a lot faster. Once all three jars are emptied, make your way back to the challenge podium, collecting your third reward, and also completing this challenge podium. The next challenge podium you can do is located in the frozen crevice, which is right outside of spawn. The first challenge is to get kills while standing in the freezing water. You can do this anywhere on the map, but it is easy to just knock it out right beside the podium. Once you have all your kills, make your way back to the podium and collect the next reward. The next challenge is to shatter frozen zombies, and you can do this by throwing snowballs at these zombies until they die and freeze, and then running through them or shooting them. You could also use the Tundra gun, I guess, but I'm not really sure why you'd be watching this video if you've already got that weapon. However, it does work. Once you've done that, now collect your next reward and move on to the third and final challenge. For this one, the hermit is going to sing five notes for you, and then it's your job to go play them on the bells in spawn. You are able to return to the podium and interact with it in order to replay the five notes in case you missed it. So once you get to spawn, the four bells that you're going to, need to be shooting are located right here, and that's the E note, then there's the G note, and then there's the C note on the corner of the building, and then finally in the middle of spawn on the telephone pole, there is the A note. So to activate them, all you need to do is shoot them with any weapon, and they will start to play a note. You will notice in the left side that it'll say 1 out of 5, or 2 out of 5, and so on, and that way you know that you're on the right track. If you're having a hard time placing the notes from the hermit's song into the bells, then just trial and error until you get all five. Also keep in mind that the order for the notes is going to be random every time you play the game. Once you shoot all five bells, now return to your challenge podium to collect your reward, which will get your snowballs to a capacity of 10. Now you're on to the next challenge, so you can do the one in the forecastle if you'd like, and this one has a first challenge that requires you to kill zombies while standing still. This is really easy with grenades or with your specialist weapon, however you could just use your normal gun. For this one you have to get melee kills, so I would recommend using your stiletto knife on your strife and or your shield. This will make it very very simple and you should be done in no time. After that you can go ahead and collect your next reward and move on to the final challenge. Now you're going to be making soup, so the first ingredient is located in the gangway on that red booth. If it's not there, then it'll be in the middle right here like it is in my game, and if it's not there, it'll be on the counter of the bar. After that, make your way to the beach area of the map where you can find the second ingredient. This one could be on the ground right here in the middle, and if it's not there, then it'll be on top of these barrels over here at the edge of the map. And if it's not there, then the final location you could find it would be going through the water, and then over here by the wall by, it'll be in this wheelbarrow right here. After that, for the third ingredient, make your way to the boathouse right outside of spawn. The first location could be on top of that barrel. If it's not there, it'll be on top of this stove right there. And if it's not there, then the final location you could find it would be over here on the left, on top of this crate like it is in my game. After that, now you can head back to the boat and craft your soup, but you will need some snowballs first, so go ahead and pick those up, and then you can go ahead and insert your ingredients. So once you've done that, now you just need to add water by throwing a snowball at the pot. That will complete the challenge, and now you can return back to your challenge podium and collect the final reward. Now you can move on to the next challenge podium and I would recommend doing the one at the beach. For the first challenge you're going to be killing zombies with snowballs and to make this easier if you aim at the head and get a headshot it will one shot the zombies on a lower round. After you finish it then return to the challenge podium and collect the reward like you've been doing and now for the second one I would recommend hoarding them up in the water area of the beach and once they're all grouped up now you need to make your way to the lighthouse trap because this challenge is to kill zombies with the lighthouse trap. This is pretty straightforward, however I do want to mention that you can get close to the beam, you can actually walk through it and it only take about half your health away, so you don't really have to worry about getting killed by the beam super easily. After you get your kills, then make your way back to the challenge podium, collecting the next reward, and then moving on to the third and final challenge. For this one, you're going to be completing the SOS messages that the Hermit started that are around the map. There's three messages in total, and the first one is right beside the challenge podium on the side of the boat. To complete this, you're throwing snowballs in the missing sections of the SOS message. Once you complete it, you will notice on the left that the number will go 1 of 3, 2 of 3, or 3 of 3. With the second location on the side of the lighthouse, the third one is located in the sunken path. You can see this one from other areas of the map, however, this is by far the easiest place to see it. After you get that third message finished, go back to the podium, collect your final reward, and now you can move on to the final challenge podium. 
For this first challenge, you have to kill zombies by flinging them across the map. So the easiest one I find is the one that is located on the boat. And so I would recommend just standing on top of this after hoarding them up. And the winner's whale comes in handy for this one because you can get large numbers at a time. However, once these zombies are on that, they should fling and you should get about five to eight at a time. After flinging all your zombies, then you return to the podium at the facility to collect your first reward. For this challenge, you have to get kills while riding the zipline, so you can either use the insta-kill that it gives you, and then immediately ride the zipline to make that pretty quick, or you can just use a rate fire, throw it down at the edge of the zipline, ride it, and you should get all of your kills at once. After returning to the challenge podium to collect your reward, the third and final challenge is located on the loading platform, which is right beside the challenge podium. This challenge is pretty fun because you're playing a game of whack-a-mole, but instead you're using the snowballs. You're going to have to do this three times in full, and they get a little bit harder each round. If you're doing this in a solo game, I would recommend using Winter's Whale so that you can freeze the zombie and that'll give you enough time to complete each challenge. Whenever you finish one of the phases, you do have to shoot the target or throw another snowball at the target in order to start the next phase. Return to the challenge podium to get your final reward and now you've completed all the challenges to get the free thunder gun. So now head to the top of the lighthouse where the hermit will lower down a key that will let you open the box to the left over here. After interacting with the box, that is everything you have to do to get the free thunder gun on Tagged or Toten. You are able to pack a punch the thunder gun making it the Zeus cannon and you can also have somebody get this from the mystery box even if you've already done this free reward. This weapon is very very useful in the solo boss fight and I highly recommend it. I also still prefer this gun over the tundra gun which is the new version of the thunder gun in Tag Your Toten. So that is everything on how to get the thunder gun reward on Tag Your Toten. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Absalom and I hope to see you in my next video.